As they say, and now for something completely different. I want to tell you today about something pretty interesting. That's quantum computing. It's a topic that I'm sure many of you have heard about, but I appreciate many of you may not have a deep insight of what this field is about. You may not have a huge amount of familiarity with how quantum computing is relevant to you. Simply put, quantum computing is a totally new way to process information. And it promises to be as transformational in the 21st century as harnessing electricity was in the 19th. And that's not just because it's the new shiny thing, it's because there are deep parallels in the way we learn to access and then put to use a new resource, electricity, and how we're doing exactly the same thing today with quantum physics. And in this talk, what I want to do is give you insights about what's really behind this field, and I want to give you real actionable intelligence about things that you can do to become part of the quantum revolution. Things that you can do as an individual looking to break into the sector, or things that you can do as a business leader looking to gain strategic, strategic advantage from this technology. But the starting point for our story is where we are today. The information age comes to us because of computers, advances in the way we process information. And while it may not be totally obvious, this capability comes to us from quantum physics. Quantum physics, can I confirm that we can get our slides up, thanks? Thank you. Quantum physics underpins the way all computers work. I'm sure many of you have seen pictures of microprocessors. Microprocessors are devices that allow us to encode and process information with electricity. They're based on a kind of material called a semiconductor that either allows electricity to flow like in a wire or which blocks the flow of electricity like an insulator. And it makes the change between these two capabilities dependent on another electrical signal. Controlling the flow of electricity with electricity comes to us because of quantum physics. And that is the capability we use in all of our computational devices. Now, what's quite incredible is that we can put over a billion active switching elements called transistors into an area roughly the size of your thumbnail. That's how all of our technology works. But remarkably, this is quite rudimentary in the way we build stuff. The way we build the most advanced computing technology today is a little bit like this by analogy. We start with a giant pile of stuff, and if we learn the right rules, we can shape the stuff into the form we want. In our analogy, we can build Big Ben out of a sand sculpture. We can make really magnificent forms in this way, just like we can have a billion transistors in an area the size of your thumbnail. But it shouldn't be too surprising that if you look more closely, if instead of looking only at the giant pile of stuff, if you look closely enough at the individual grains of sand, you see that there is more complexity. There is more to the story. It's not just a homogeneous tan. You see that some grains of sand are seashell and some are stone. Some are transparent, some opaque, some are dark, some are light. All of this complexity is completely missing when you only look at the giant pile of stuff. And the same exact thing is true in the way we build technology today. If we look more closely, there's new complexity. If we go down to the most fundamental particles of light and matter, photons and atoms, there's new complexity. This can be our grain of sand. This is actually a picture of individual atoms, taken with a camera not dissimilar from the one on your mobile phone. Each atom can be used to store information. And what's exciting in this domain is that because we're looking closely enough, there's new complexity, the rules of quantum physics. These are rules that are just different from the rules we experience day to day. Instead of thinking of these atoms like little billiard balls that bounce off one another, we have to think of them more like waves. Waves that spread out in space. Waves that interfere with each other or even with themselves. And on this size scale, nature even appears to have its own form of magic. 
quantum physics tells us that particles can be linked together. So I said, no matter how far apart we separate them, manipulating one will instantly affect its partner. And if we use this complexity to store information, we can do some really profound things. With just 300 particles encoding quantum information called qubits, we can represent simultaneously using the physics of superposition two to the 300 possibilities. Now, two to the 300 is a pretty big number. It's about 10 to the 100 of Google. It's a number so astronomically large that if we tried to write out all those possibilities of how we could store information in this huge space, we would run out of matter in the universe before we could do it. And here we can achieve the same thing in an area just about a millimeter across. When we think about that capability, there are totally new computational techniques that come to us. And importantly, there are very important problems that we can start to solve. If we imagine a problem like a picture, like an image, when we put our problem into a regular computer, it gets pixelated. The information is lost. Our ability to gain insight is lost. But for many of these problems, if instead we use a quantum computer that uses these different rules we find in our little grains of sand, the individual atoms, we can get a better representation of the problem. And what's very powerful for us is we don't need a perfect representation. We just need something better, less pixelated. That is a new way that we can compute. And these systems are here. They are real. You can go online right after this talk. You can get access to cloud accessible quantum computers brought to you by a number of hardware vendors. And with these systems coming to reality, there is an enormous financial or economic impact that's developing right now. This is what Boston Consulting Group says is an $850 billion market opportunity. The space of problems where we can get that better representation with a quantum computer includes the way we schedule buses and trains, the way we design pharmaceuticals, the way we price derivatives and options in the financial markets, the way we design new materials, the way we plan logistics for space missions, the way we try to mitigate negative effects of climate change, even the way we build new drugs, new chemicals, and new machine learning capabilities. All of these are enabled by this different way of representing information. And so now, with that $850 billion number over your head, I trust you want to be part of the story. And so for the rest of the talk, I want to give you some true insights into what you can do to be part of this. It's very simple. You need to learn, you need to partner, and you need to practice. And if you do these three things, you have the ability to gain a strategic advantage from this new field. So let's start at the beginning with learning. If any of you have tried to learn quantum computing, or even if you haven't even bothered, you would probably be familiar with the fact that it's really difficult to get into. It's really hard to get started learning about quantum computing. The information is spread out all over the place. Typically, it's in the minds of people who've gotten PhDs in the field. It's not accessible. And we set out to remove the barriers to entry for our own team, but also for the rest of the community. And we do this with a product called Black Opal. Black Opal is like Duolingo for quantum. It is a modular approach to education that puts all the information you need to go from the basics of the physics all the way through to programming quantum computers in one place. You go on a learning journey that's structured around skills and topics and punctuated by challenges that ensure you are retaining what you learn. Everything is based around a series of interactive visual activities. There are 350 of these in the product. They always present you to start with information, and we couple it immediately with a request that you put your new knowledge to practice. We start with interactives around the phenomenology of waves. I told you matter behaves like waves, so you need to understand this. We then go on 
to introduce the fundamental concepts in the way we store information in quantum computers with quantum bits, things that you've seen before but may not have ever understood, like circuits. All of this knowledge is presented to you, and you are immediately able, through an interactive interface, to gain real insight about what's happening in these systems. We also present you with information on the most important algorithms. We teach you in a visual, intuitive way why cybersecurity is at risk due to quantum computers. We show you how, using optimization algorithms, quantum computers can be relevant to finance, pharmaceuticals, transport logistics optimization, and the like. And we bring you all the way from those bits of foundational knowledge to programming. With a visual IDE, we enable you to make connections between all the pieces you've learned already and the way we actually write code for quantum computers. You also have the ability to engage in an open ended learning environment. You can practice all the concepts in an interactive visual environment, build your own circuits, take circuits from external sources, and visualize how, in a quantum computer, information is processed, how the output of the quantum computer changes as you execute an algorithm. And we know, of course, that you all like to brag. So we enable you to share your accomplishments with completion badges. There are nine key topics in this,、uh, in this product. For each of them, as you complete, you gain access to a shareable badge and ultimately a certification that demonstrates what you have accomplished in the field. This is why there are tens of thousands of lessons that have been learned with Black Opal. People just like you who are new to the field, who are interested in understanding how this can benefit them, have started from zero, and many have become practitioners in quantum computing. Next, you can partner. Now, I appreciate that for many of you, quantum physics or quantum computing may sound completely foreign, may sound like something where you don't have any direct connection. But I want to change your mind about that. If you look at the way the existing tech sector works, we break it down into cloud platform as a service, application focused SaaS, infrastructure software as a service, infrastructure itself as a, as a service. And there are lots of very familiar names. People from some of them may actually be here today. But the quantum sector is evolving in the same way. We see the same delineation in the sector. Why do I tell you this? Not just because Q Control is a category leader, building, defining a new category of infrastructure software for quantum computers, but also because this correspondence says how you can get engaged with the right people. There are people that you can talk to. Even if you're not a quantum physicist, even if you have no idea about the fundamental science, there are people that can speak your language because they're working in similar parts of the ecosystem. So, as an example, being experts in infrastructure software, making quantum computers perform better by optimizing algorithms to run on real machines, the Australian Army came to us and asked us, as experts in the math of an algorithm, Logistics planning, they came to us to partner to ask how they could better implement that on a real quantum computer. And what we were able to deliver was a hardware optimized algorithm that gave almost 100x improvement in the performance of a real quantum computer. Last is practice. I told you before that these systems are real. You can go online and access a quantum computer right now. You can take all the knowledge that you build with something like Black Opal and begin reducing it to practice. If any of you are coders, you know that doing things with pen and paper is not nearly the same as actually running algorithms, actually writing code. But there is a challenge, and the challenge has been that this has really historically been the domain only accessible to experts. When we put information into quantum computers, 
that information degrades. This is the Achilles heel of the field. The degradation of information leads to errors. The errors lead to failed algorithms and end users just can't get the insights they care about. To now it has only been experts like me and members of our team who've been able to overcome this, but that is finally changing. We built a new kind of infrastructure software that allows anybody to take an algorithm and execute it on real hardware to gain the insights that you care about. The point here is that you don't need to know what's under the hood. How many JavaScript or Python developers here think about PN junctions and transistor physics? Nobody. And the same is becoming true in quantum computing. With this tool called Fire Opal, you can execute your algorithms, get the most insightful answers back, and not worry at all what is happening inside the box. And it really gives transformational capabilities. Here's one example. This is a problem. It's a needle in a haystack search that you can execute on a quantum computer. What you expect is in the top right. Doesn't matter even what the axes mean. You should get a picture like that. What you actually get is the bottom right, typically, when you execute on a quantum computer. Errors swamp the insights you're trying to gain. If your task, if your ambition is to understand how this algorithm works by practicing, if you get the nonsense on the bottom, in the bottom left, it just doesn't help you. But if you add this one line of code from Q control, you get the bottom right. You get the right answer. When you execute your algorithm, you can gain the insights that matter to you. This capability for a whole range of problems that really matter in finance, in pharma, in logistics, this is giving end users, even professionals in the field, new capabilities that they never had before. This is a great summation from one of our partners who said, in some cases, this software fundamentally transformed quantum, quantum hardware, allowing results deemed impossible by previous benchmarks. You too can practice and get insights in things that were otherwise impossible when you work with us. So at the end of the day, I've told all of you how you can start entering the field, how you can begin your quantum journey. I gave you insights into how these bits of technology actually work. I shared with you some ideas about why quantum computers are special and how there's an $850 billion opportunity awaiting all of you. And I gave you those three key objectives that allow you to become part of the revolution. Learn, partner, practice. At QControl, we're very excited to be bringing this whole field to life, making quantum technology useful. And we look forward to hearing from all of you today. Please meet us, meet our team, and find us online. Thanks very much for your attention.